Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you an alternate method of how to do a seamless repeating pattern. So this video was requested in my other video about creating seamless repeating patterns for Valentine's Day. If you want to see that video, I will have it linked in the description below. So I'm going to start with my basic block. I'm going to take these elements and group them. Once I group them, the group was rotated. I rotated it 90 degrees so it could be a square. So this document is 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Once you set up your document, head to elements and grab all the elements that you want to use for your pattern. Fill the entire page with elements. Making sure to not allow anything to go off the edge. Since I already have this block, I'm going to enlarge it to fit the document better. So here I am just enlarging the elements that I already had on this page. Again, making sure that none of them go off the edge of the document. I'm going to group them and center them in the middle of my document. Once you have that in the center, duplicate your block. You're going to take one of those copies and drag it to the left. You want to drag it to the left to the midway point making sure that the vertical pink line at the edge shows up. You're going to take the other copy and move it to the right, to the halfway point, making sure that the vertical pink line on the edge shows up. So now you can see here, there are some blank spaces that need to be filled in. I'm going to head down to the page that I duplicated originally and grab some elements from there and fill in the empty space. Once you've dragged your groups to the left and to the right, it would be a good idea to lock those so that as you're adding in more elements, those don't move. So once you have all of your empty space filled in, now it's time to download. Head to share, download, and download it as a PNG. So now I'm going to add in a blank page. Once your file is downloaded, you're going to upload it back into Canva. Add your image that you just uploaded to Canva onto the blank page. So you're gonna drag the image to the upper left hand corner and enlarge it to fit the page. Once you have it fit to page, make a duplicate copy. We're going to do the same thing that we just did in the previous page. This time we're going to move those copies up and down. So now we're going to take one of the copies and move it up, waiting for the horizontal pink line to show up. And now you're going to take the other copy and move it down until the horizontal pink line shows up. So now after we've done that, you can see we've created more empty space. And now I'm going to lock those two halves that we just moved. And now I'm going to add more elements where it seems a little bit empty. So now once you've filled in all of your empty space, you're going to download this page as a PNG. So now I'm going to add in another blank page so we can test our pattern. Once you've uploaded your PNG, insert it into the blank page. Move it to the upper left corner 
and you're going to resize it until it's 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels. You should see the vertical and horizontal pink lines show up. Make three additional copies and move them to the other three corners. I'm actually going to put in a picture of the other pattern that I created from the previous video, just so you can see the difference between the two. So here's the first pattern from that previous video. And with the second method, which is featured in this video right here, I feel like the pattern looks more full and there's less empty space. So this concludes the video to the alternate method of creating a seamless repeating pattern. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to be notified when I do. And as always, thanks for watching.